Okay, here we go. A little correction from the last video. The deltoid does not connect to the sternum. In the back, it connects it to the scapula. Gotta love it when the teacher screws up. That's why I leave them in. Okay, don't think that the teachers don't uh, study, study, study. That's all we do, study. Okay, but um, instead of re-recording it, I'm going to leave it in. Okay, here we go. This is the back. And there we go, the back of the neck here, which would be your trapezius. Come down here to the cronium process. Fly on down this way to the center of the back, okay? This is your scapula, otherwise known as your shoulder blades, okay? Okay, and that's where your deltoid comes back and connects right here, okay? There you go, latissimus dorsi coming around from the humerus all the way around that way. Connects again to the center of the back. Come down this way and this way, kind of wings, okay? And that's really about it. You have your external obliques here, sacrums, down to the tail, which we still have our tails, okay? and external oblique, posterior iliac crest, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. Isn't that fun? Gluteal band right there, mine stopped working years ago, quads and hamstrings. Okay, back of the leg. This Got your weight on this leg, this buttock, this one's going to flatten out. Okay, and there you go. This is really cool for the arm, tricep, olecranon, and then you'll have more Pinocchio muscles. My favorite one, brachioradialis, right there. Okay, then you'll have extensor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi radialis. Pinocchio. Okay. I think we're almost done. Let's try one more anatomy, and then we'll call it a day.